dude, I love how he smiles when he sings, man. Hey guys, it's Sam here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got some more day six for us and even the day. We're finishing off the book of glue on today. This one is thanks to when they had a live clip and it's already on the screen because I didn't transition over. So let's go. And it's got captions. Dude, I like Young K's bass here. It's very, he's got a, like a synth wall pedal on it. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm not listening to, I'm not paying attention to the words. <laughs> gotta, gotta put these up top. Dude, game changer. Game changer. Have drum triggers. <laughs> Trying to see something on Dolan's drums. Yeah, he's got drum triggers. I can, I'm pretty sure. Drum trigger right there. <laughs> Harmonies. Dude. It's it's like Young K's got a huge smile on his face when he sings. But his this bass line that he's hitting. Sheesh, it's I mean it's funky. It's good. He's he's it's not like a full walk, but he's And it sounds it sounds like it's more than it is because of the the, the effect that he's using. I wanna I think it's like a reverse it's like a, it's some type of, type of auto wall filter. This like pre-course is so good. Just the way that the music flows. Heavenly vocals. Harmonies. Look at it. I love how he smiles when he sings, man. So I'm gonna listen to this again because there's a lot happening here musically. There's a lot. Because I think I think what happens is Wampil takes over the bass part on the synth, 
and then Young K's doing the guitar solo on his bass because he's all the way in the upper register on the frets. See, you get that wobble, 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 that wobble thing. I'm pretty sure that that's that's Womp Hill. I think in the rec so there's a there's an undertone vocal there, and I think it's Young K, and he's just like doing a very low harmony to himself. I mean, it could be Wampu, but I'm pretty sure it's Young K. Like that little fade out part right there. It's almost like it's breaking down. Dude, they, they I mean, y'all already know. The, the, they, the boys don't miss. The boys just, <laughs> they, they, they don't miss, right? Whether it's, you know, the original six, the, the OT five, or even in the subunit here with just Young K, Womp Hill, and Doublewood. Man, like, they, they don't fucking miss ever. And it's not just tile tracks, it's B-sides. Anything they do is just crazy good. This, I, I mean, obviously I got one more track to go and it's the, the outro, I think. Between this and like Landed, man, like don't get me wrong. Where the Sea Sleeps is an amazing song and it's super emotional uh, as the boys once again got me to cry, but this and Landed are so good. I mean, they're, they're just so good. Like, I loved the effects that Young K was using on the bass as far as like that Ottawa synth. Uh, it might even been like a reverse. I, I don't, it's just a different setting. I don't know what setting it was because um, that's an effect that I don't really ever really messed with. Um, so I don't know its full parameters of what it can and can't do, but I'm pretty sure it's some sort of Ottawa um, bass pedal filter that he's using. And then he's definitely using something else when he switches to the guitar solo, quote unquote guitar solo, if you will, where it's almost like a distortion, but it's not quite fuzz, but it's not like it's it's almost. It's almost like a big muff because it has that like just harmonic sustain to it or anything else, but. Either, either way, it was just really good. Wampil and and Dolan just flat out keeping the time on this one. He, I mean, he was a timekeeper on this one. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Definitely use drum triggers um, for for you know the the more electronic uh, tom tom sounds. But man, dude, like this song is <laughs> this song's great. And honestly, Young K, like the fact that he like puts a smile on when he sings, man, like it's just. It's heartwarming at a, at a point because you know that he's doing what he loves because he's legitimately happy and smiling while he's singing. Um, and thankfully, this wasn't one of those songs where it's like super sad, even though it sounds happy because the boys are good at doing that one, too. But either way, let me know what you guys thought about this one. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Cheers to you guys, and we'll see you all in the next one.